All right, so something that we do every year to celebrate Peace Day is we make pinwheels. Now, I want you to know this is not required. It's just an option for something else to do and to celebrate extra fun. So I shared the um, some templates. One of them looks like this. It's nice and plain. This one might be really fun because you get to design it however you want. So what you're going to need is you're going to need two of these. So you can totally use the plain ones. Otherwise, on the website, there are some different ones that have like stars and strawberries and other fun things. So you can pick whichever one you want. Or you can just draw a square, draw two squares and make your own. You don't even have to print one off. So, like I said, you're going to need two pieces of paper. You're going to need a pencil, a glue stick, a push pin or a tack, some scissors, and then whatever coloring utensils you want to use. Maybe you want to use crayons or markers or paints, whatever you want to use. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your two pieces of paper, your squares, and you are going to design them however you want, color them. So I will be right back once I've colored them. I do also want to point out that there is another option. You could just print one of these squares and color on both the front and the back, um, as long as you aren't using like markers so it doesn't bleed. Maybe use crayons instead. All right, so we are working on our pinwheel. Um, I have colored mine. And the next step for us to do is going to be cut it out. So I already cut out one of mine, but we're going to cut on um, this dark line right here. This dark black line. So I'll cut it out nice and quick. And then I'm going to make sure to throw away my scrap paper so I'm not making a huge mess. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is our glue stick. Okay, so you can see um, on the screen behind me kind of what I'm doing. Here, let me see if I can adjust. There we go. So I'm going to flip over one of my pieces so that the color, the pretty side, is facing down. So I should see white. And I'm gonna use my glue stick and I am going to glue. Now, when we use our glue stick, it's really important that we use just enough. So what we wanna do is we're gonna take our glue and we are gonna make a square right around the edge. And then we're gonna make a plus sign right in the middle, okay? And then I'm gonna take my second piece and I am going to put it right on top of that. So the two blank sides are getting glued together. Now, if you're just using one sheet of paper, you don't have to do that step. And then we're just gonna let it dry for a second here. Put my cap back on my glue so it doesn't get dried out. And then we're going to need our scissors again, okay? So if you look really close, you can see that there's little dotted lines here. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut on those little dotted lines. Almost all the way to the center, but not the whole way so that it doesn't fall apart. So if you make an oopsie like me and you almost cut the whole way, that's okay. But see how these ones, I only cut, maybe it's easier to see on this side. I only cut to here and then I stopped. Here I made an oopsie and I cut a little far, but that's okay. So we're going to need that glue stick again. You can look behind me for this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one edge and fold it in like this. So when I do that, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom, I'm gonna fold it, and then I'm gonna hold and count to 10. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And then it should stay in its spot. I glued it and I am holding it. And then I'm going to go to that next triangle and I'm going to take another corner and hold it down. Now I can add another little piece of glue so that it stays in place. And then I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hopefully it'll stay. Then I'll go to take the next one. Let me put a little bit of glue on there. I'll take this one and I'll fold it over. I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay, I realized it was hard to see what I was doing in the back because of the light. So now I'm gonna do my one last little piece of glue and take this last corner and hold it in the middle and count to what? 10. Here we go, one, two, three, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're gonna put our cap back on our glue so it doesn't get dried out. This is where we're, we are gonna need an adult. So we're gonna need, whoops, it's okay if it pops up like that too. We're gonna need our pencil and our pin. So what we're gonna do, parents, this is where you come in. We're gonna take this pin. I don't know if it's easier to show it this way. Very carefully, we're gonna stick it through the center of the pinwheel. Takes a little oomph. And just be careful so you don't poke yourself. So it should look like that. Okay. And then we're gonna take the pointy side. See how there's a little point here? I'm gonna stick that into the eraser of the pencil. Like that. And now, for the pinwheel. There it goes. Great job.